Hello friends, welcome back to our channel RK Data Labs. Hope all are doing good. In my previous video, I have covered like how ChatGPT can be effectively used for automating couple of tasks in our Microsoft Excel for our daily activities. Similarly, as like that, when it comes to productivity, it's always very important to use ChatGPT nowadays, one among the biggest hits in artificial intelligence. So today, we are going to cover a similar topic like how Notepad++ can be widely used with ChatGPT integration like in other words how ChatGPT can be effectively used for Notepad++ shortcuts and all such things. So right away we are going to cover good demo a kind of practical hands on like you know what are all the possible shortcuts that we can use in Notepad++. So for that what you need to have a valid account in ChatGPT 3.5 latest version and a notepad plus plus text editor okay now let's say like we have a requirement like you know i have one paragraph here so in this paragraph i have like all like you know let's make like empty lines okay so if the paragraph has couple of empty lines so what my actual requirement is to remove all the empty lines let's say like this is very simple like which is having only like few records let's say consider if it is having like thousands of records so how it can be effectively used so for that what we are going to do we are going to prompt chat gpt to get the necessary formula to how to do let's say how to replace empty lines using regex pattern let's prompt to chat gpt and let's see like what it is actually throwing it out right it has given couple of suggestions where just we want to simply copy the code and just perform it accordingly so what I'm going to do if you see there are like couple of empty lines are present so as per the expectation or as per the suggestions prompted by chat GPT I'm just simply going to copy paste this and here and what it is trying to suggest in replace with it is given exactly so the search mode to be always regular expression so what I'm going to do simple I'm just simply going to click replace all that's it so now you can able to simply erase all the unwanted empty lines using the formula which is suggested by ChatGPT. so this is task number one number two how to add a common text at the starting and at the end of the line particularly let's say like we have all these things like one two three four dot right so before that i want to add some text into it so let's say like how we are going to prompt it so I will prompt ChatGPT. Let's say Welcome to Arcade Data Labs. Let's have this text at the starting of the line. Okay, let's make it as in all lines. Let's see what it is actually throwing it out. Simple. Go to the Notepad plus plus, Control H, and as it is suggested, try to have this character. So what I'm going to do? Simple. I'm just putting it over here. Hello. Welcome to Arcadel. And then the search mode to be regular expression as like whatever we have already that's it now what we need to do so we have everything in place okay so now if you want to have a kind of delimited with sub, sub, comma separated what you are actually doing is control h let's make it as comma and then give a space to it that's it so if you look at this you will be able to see all the lines which is added at the start of the line with the text called hello welcome to rk data labs so this is one of the tasks that you can easily automate n number of lines it can be how many number of lines it can be you can just simply use this formula with the useful tip given by the chat gpt okay so we have covered task number two okay now let's say like how we are going to insert all the text into a single line let's do a undo i will just formulate this all right so now we have all couple of lines which is having in a paragraph now my requirement is to have 
inserted everything into a single line. So what I should be doing is, I want to simply go to ChatGPT. That's it. So it will simply give you a necessary formula that you are just going to copy the code and put it into Notepad++. So what I'm going to do, I'm just simply copying this. So I'm just putting it here and then placing it over here. I don't want this text and make sure that you are selecting extended instead of regular expression. That's it. The magic is here. You have populated all the multiple lines in your Notepad++ into a single line using the formula given and prompted by ChatGPT. Absolutely fantastic, right? So this has been very, e very easy and effective and useful guys for, you know, let's say in a project like more people can either use Notepad or Notepad++ or any other text editor. But effectively speaking, Notepad++ is widely used across a couple of software developers in the IT industry. Let's say now I'm just undo this paragraph now. So now let's say I have one sample example. Let's say like we have an X XML file. So let me try to take that. Okay, so I have an example like with an XML format. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply compare this example with one more example. What I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to copy paste this. So I will make this as XML and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply for our testing purpose, I'm going to remove all these two paragraphs. All right. Now these two XMLs are going to be compared now. So how can I do? So I want to just prompt chat GPT. Let's say you can just put the text here. To find out the differences so let's see like what it is actually giving you the result so now it is just prompting that there is no inbuilt future to compare two different XML files whereas what you can do you can just simply download the compare plugin from plugin admin that's what it is suggesting to do and then you can just compare accordingly between left and right pane so what I'm going to do is okay now, as suggested by ChatGPT, I'm going to plugins admin and there is a compare here. So I'm just going to download it. All right. So let's have this as compare. All right. So now if you, if you see here, two different examples are being compared here and it is highlighting that these two tags are missing in this right side XML. So other things are not highlighted such that the red ones which is in, which is present in the left side of the explorer which is clearly telling that in right side it has not been present. So now this is the way how to compare two different files in the notepad plus plus. So this is one beautiful utility and also a plugin that can be fetched from notepad plus plus that is suggested by ChatGPT. Definitely this is not only helpful for any XML file even if you have any text files or any other file formats it can be it can just simply compare it very easily and effectively okay now let's say i'm just going to clear all these one so how should i do clear all the compares okay so i'm going to this one i'm just going to copy paste this let's make it as a duplicate line so now i'm going to find out the duplicate line so here if you see here right so this energy source line have been duplicated with two different lines again so now I don't want to have all these duplicate lines in my paragraph. So what should I do? I want to ask or request ChatGPT to remove. So how should I do? Simple. How to remove duplicate lines? So simple. It will give you a beautiful thing. So it is very, the answer is very straightforward, pretty straightforward. Just you want to go to edit menu and go to and check with line operations and remove duplicate lines come let's see like whether it can be effective or not let's say let's have this enabled here okay 
so we have three different we have four different sources of the same line with duplicate let's select this one go to edit line operations and then there is something called remove duplicate lines that's it you don't see this line number two anywhere in this paragraph now that's absolutely great right that's the power of having this such tool in you know in this current notepad plus plus so notepad plus plus will offer you a couple of good good suggestions guys so please make a note of it and please make use of it actually all right now let me make one line called all right so now let me tell you one requirement when the project requires like you know you have like n number of lines here so i want to just simply have all these six lines into a single line with the comma d de separated delimited format so how should i do simple go to chat gpt type out like so as much as possible be prompt in your prompts whichever you are throwing it to the chat gpt so now what i have given is how to convert multiple lines into a single line with comma separated into single line so what it is suggesting it to is simple try with this as suggested by chat gpt i'm just going to copy it put it over here simple and then put a comma and let's see like whether it is giving the extended mode or it is in the regular expression so it is an extended as again it is in regular expression now simple you have all these lines all these multiple single lines have been converted into a single line with comma separated entry all right guys so these tasks right so even you can even do it in a macro level also so how to do simple let me copy this how to do it in macro so let's see like how to do it in a macro way so simply what you can do you, there is a plugin called macro you can just simply start the recording i will just do a control z so what i'm going to do just click on start recording and then what you're going to do i'm going to enable the same formula replace all i'm going to stop my recording so it will ask you to save this recorded one piece to that like you know whenever you have such files which is given by the customer or anybody you can just simply start your macro to do this activity okay i'm just giving my name as called test macro and i'm just putting like control shift let me say h okay so the shortcut to enable this macro or run the macro is very simple control shift h okay now i'll just do an undo of this activity what i'm going to do i'm not going to run this macro using this macro option i'm going to run with my shortcut which is created so control shift h that's it the moment you press the shortcut it can just simply gives you and amazes you with the result of you know having that shortcut in your notepad plus plus all guys so this is such amazing things that you can even you cannot think of it so something which is very useful and effective using chat gpt nowadays so hope this video is be very very useful for you guys so we'll catch you soon with some other video using chat gpt and many more stuffs in artificial intelligence if you really like this video please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you